Welcome to Jason on English. Let's look at numbers. How to read numbers. Vocabulary gap. When you learn a new language as an adult, you skip some basic things that you learn when you're a child. For example, as a child, you learn mathematics. You learn how to count. You learn how to read a lot of different kinds of numbers. As an adult, you already know how to do mathematics. So you will probably not study how to do mathematics in English. This creates a gap in your vocabulary. Let's look at basic numbers. English uses a repeating three number system with family names. A lot of languages use a similar system, but some use other systems. Japanese uses a repeating four number system with family names. In English, when numbers are written, commas separate each family. Let's look at the same number using the English system and the Japanese system with commas. In English, you would write, there are commas separating the number families. You would say, 100 billion, 100 million, 100,000, 100. For this number, you would say 435,678,001. In the Japanese system, with commas, you would write, you could say, sen ichi oku, juman, kyaku. For this number, You could say, Yon oku, san zen go hyaku rokuju nana man, hachi sen ichi. English uses a repeating three number system for numbers. Most three number sets have family names trillion, billion, million, thousand. The smallest set has no name. Again, trillion, billion, million, thousand. And the smallest set has no name. Change this number into sets of three numbers. Apply the family names. 905 trillion, 406 billion, Nine million eight hundred thirty seven thousand fifteen. Other numbers. How would you say this? You should say five meters by three meters. How would you say this? You should say 15 square meters or 15 meters squared. How would you say this? You should say three meters by three meters by three meters. How would you say this? You should say 27 cubic meters or 27 meters cubed. Let's try some math. 
How would you say these equations? Three plus five equals eight. Seven minus four equals three. Do not forget the S at the end of equals. How would you say these equations? Seven times three equals 21. Or seven multiplied by three equals 21. Sixteen divided by eight equals two. Mathematics is something you might not study when you learn a new language as an adult. So you might miss some of the vocabulary needed for mathematics. Also, describing other types of numbers might be something challenging for you. If you like, Watch this video again and practice saying English numbers and practice using different kinds of numbers. Thank you for watching.